And welcome back to The Factor on Censored. Well, if you miss D. Ray Davis, a comedian in Houston, that's on you. The comedian and actor will be here in town tomorrow night for a live stand-up series at the Houston Improv. Two of those seven shows are already sold out. Davis tells me fans can expect his best work yet. And damn, man, how many shows do you have in Houston? I look at the list, and you are in demand in this city. You know what I try to do, man? I've come there a lot of times. I always try to um, set a new record, break a new record, just for myself comedically. Plus, I want to give the... It's a big city, a lot of people to cover. You know that because it's, it's a lot of people. I try to cover as many people, family, fans, exact, you know, whatever I can get in there. But um, I think this week I'm not going to do the, the, the typical 10 shows because when you start counting, <laughs> when I get about seven shows in and I think about it, uh, I'm like, oh, seven in. So I try to start every day, like, okay, one day, one show at a time, just like any other, like, like, like addiction rules. So, <laughs> because I think about it ahead of time, it's kind of like talking yourself out of the race or out of the marathon, you know. And um, I'm just, I'm just gonna try to be funny every every time, you know. It's like ten fights in a row. I don't remember when Ali that fought all those guys back to back for the ex exhibition bout, but it feels like that. But it's got to feel good to you to be able to add these shows while you're here, that you're in demand, that people in Houston love you so much that you, I think you're at six and it may be climbing even higher now, six shows over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. We usually do, um, I've done, I've stayed there two weeks before and done like 14 shows. I've done, wow. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to add, I'm going to add some matinee shows. But it does feel good because my comedy is an acquired taste, I believe. I believe it took a long time to get people to understand that um, the the streets meet meeting the stage the way I presented it. And um, I just, I'm just happy that people, it was a gradual build and it wasn't, I, w I didn't take off like a rocket and then have a hard fall. I love that I put in the, the legwork and I feel like these people that are coming to my shows have been um, graduating with me to, to whatever greatness I'm trying to get to. So that always feels dope, man. And obviously with social media out there, you as a performer, you always have to keep your show fresh and changing. What can they expect this go around from D. Ray Davis here in Houston? Man, I'm, it's, a, it's a good question. Normally I say, you know, I just go into the sales pitch of I'm funny regardless. I'm, I'm going to be funny. You know what it is, but I really love the art form I've taken on. I love the new, I don't know if it's like a new technique. It's my same, my same comedy. Um, I believe I slowed down a little bit because, you know, from Chicago, we talk really fast. I think I've given myself time to grow within the material that I already had. And um, I think it's going to be, it's, it, I know for a fact, it's probably one of the best sets I've ever had in my career. Regardless of how much fun I had before, I have funny stuff fell to, whether I'm jumping all around the stage, whatever that exciting moment. But as far as, Best train set, I would put this set up against anything in the world, like any of my past sets. I, I'm having a good time. So I'll say expect, one, the unexpected, because you have you used to seeing me, and two, just to have a good time like like normal, man. I'm, I, it's a new roller coaster. I'm pulling up six flags. Let's get it. There you go. And you're here from July 13th through the 16th at the Houston Improv. Multiple shows. So check the uh, Improv's website and your website as well and social media so people can get more information.